In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a website which has dynamic content. In the previous video, we installed a plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. We created our own custom fields to create a website that sells cars. So what we did is we created a page which was able to pull information from the database which we created using uh, uh, Advanced Custom Fields. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to that page and then customize that page and make it look beautiful. So this step that we're going to go through is very straightforward. It's like using Divi as you were before, but the power is when you save that page as a template and then create more pages using that template. So what you will notice is you won't need to even touch Divi after you've created that template. So this is the power of creating dynamic content using advanced custom fields. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to our website and start building our website. Now, uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, what I'll do is I'll link it somewhere here on, um, uh, on the screen. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, you can also go to the link uh, in the description where I will link, uh, I'll link you to that video. And also, if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites with WordPress, I have a free course that I'm giving away. It's called WordPress Mastery. You can go ahead, sign up for that course right now. The link to that is in the description below. And if you want to take your design levels to the next level, I also have a Divi course, which pretty much shows you everything that you need to know about Divi and how to create professional looking websites. Now, this course is going to be upgraded very soon, and I'll also be increasing the price. So if you purchase this course, uh, right now, you will be locked into the old price and you won't be affected by the upgrade. Okay, so we're going to continue from where we left. So this is the page that we built so far. Now, before I continue, I'd just like to go back and add one more custom field and just show you how if you add a URL uh, space, that can also be updated automatically. So I'm just going to come back over here to my dashboard. And if you want to add more fields, you just need to come over here to custom fields and then click on field groups, right? So I'm going to click on edit. And then over here, we're also going to add one more, which will have our URL. So I'm going to click add field. And then I'm just going to say visit website. And then I'm just going to hit my tab key. And then for the field type, I'm going to add a URL just like that. Okay, so that's all we need to do. I'm going to click on add, click update. Okay, so now we have this field called visit website. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to go to our pages. All right, click on all pages. And then we're going to go to our car template. So I'm going to click on edit. So if I scroll down here, you'll notice that uh, now we have this entry called visit website. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the URL to BMW. I'm going to update this. So now we're going to go to the visual builder and take a look at our web, our page. Right, so okay, this is our page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add one more entry. So I'm going to uh, just duplicate this by just clicking this button here. And then I'm going to go into the settings. And then over here, I'm just going to delete this price. And then, in fact, we don't need this. I'm going to click here on this dynamic content icon. And what we're going to do now, you'll notice that our visit website field has been added. So I'm just going to click over here. And what you'll notice is it will have the URL of this website. Great. So before, I'm just going to say uh, visit website. Okay, like that and then save. Now we have all the content that we need. Now it's time to go in and make our website look beautiful. I'm going to save this. So I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to go into uh, this text here, this uh, title of the car. I'm going to click here on the uh, settings and click on design. So next I'm going to come over here on text. So my text is all caps. That's great. And then over here, I'm going to change my text to poppins. And then I'm just going to increase the size nice and big. And then over here, I'm just going to make it uh, bold. I'm going to add a bit of letter spacing. So notice that as, as I'm doing this, uh, this is just similar to um, editing any content that, you know, that is in uh, Divi. So this is really cool. But actually, this is dynamic content that I'm actually editing. Okay. So I think we may not may need to change the color as well. So I'm just going to go over here to my text color. Okay. Make it a light gray. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to do here is to reduce this padding. So I'm going to come over here, 
design. And then I'm going to go to spacing and just add zero to the margins and also the padding because there's too much space there. Okay, so now you can see it's much better. I'm going to save that. And then over here on the uh, section, I'm also going to increase this padding to, to about 100. Okay, I think that looks nice. In fact, what I may want to do here is to add the same value to the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to click this uh, gear icon. And now you notice that that has been added to the top and the bottom. Okay, so that's looking great. Now over here, we need to um, style our paragraph. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So same thing, we're going to come over here to design text. Uh, we're going to change our font to Poppins. We're going to make it slightly uh, bigger, maybe 18. Uh, over here on the line height, I'm also going to increase that to about 1.8 to make it easier to read. So I like how it's looking now. That's great. And then um, over here on the spacing, I just want to make sure there's no padding here on the top and no margins. Okay, so that's looking great. I want to save this. Now it's time to come over here to the engine size. So I'm just going to come back over here and um, also go into the settings. Okay, so before I'm just going to add here engine size. Okay, so now that makes a lot of sense because just with the V6, you know, it doesn't specify what it is. But again, on the engine size, this could be maybe a two liter uh, V6 or whatever it is, but I'm just doing this for demo purposes. We can go in and be more specific. Okay, so I'm going to go in now and save that. And now it's time to stylize this. So I'm going to go in here into the text. And again, I'm going to make it uh, all caps, bold, and then we're going to increase the size a bit. So I think 20 is fine. And then we're going to change the color now. Okay, so we're going to set that to, um, to this red. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Moving on, now it's time to go to the price. I'm going to gain, I'm going to come over here to my settings. And then I'm going to click on design text. We're going to make this bold. But now with the price, we're going to make it nice and big so that it's easier to see. So I'm just going to increase my text here. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to come over here to the content, go to background. And let's give this background color. Okay, so I'm just doing this just to show you how easy it is to customize this. So I'm going to come over here to background color. Okay, let's go with black. So I think that's fine. Okay, next we're going to come over here to design sizing. We're going to reduce the width of this. Okay, to about, let's say 20. And center it. In fact, no, let's keep it left aligned. Okay, for the spacing now, I just need to add some padding. And here we're going to add... Let's start off with 2%. Okay, so we're going to do that to the top and bottom and then also left and right. I'm just going to copy this. Oh, in fact, I think I'll leave it on the left. Okay, so that's looking much better. In fact, we may, we may want to bump this to about 3%. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's work with 3%. Okay, so we can see here that the width of this rectangle is a bit too small. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's just increase that a little bit more. Uh, at this stage, I want to make sure that uh, this looks great on mobile devices. So I'm just going to go here and just double check that. Okay. So here I can see that it's going across. I may want to leave it like this, to be honest. Um, I think that's fine. Okay. That looks good too. But what you can also do here is if you want to reduce that, you can always reduce it here like that. And uh, for the phone, you may want to increase it a little bit just to give it more space. Okay. So now for these three views, you can see that everything looks great. Right, so let's continue. Uh, we're going to go back over here to the text. So because this uh, gray is on a dark background, uh, we need to uh, change the text color. So I'm going to click here and um, let's change the text color. Let's go with a very light gray. Okay, and then over here on the fonts, we're going to go to uh, Poppins just to keep this consistent. And text size, I'm just going to reduce this a little bit. In fact, let's keep it at 28, but uh, we're going to change the font weight to bold. Okay, so now we have to go back in and fix that sizing. Then we're just going to increase this a little bit and make sure everything is the same over here in the other views. So it's always important to go in and double check. Okay, so now that we have our price, that's looking great. Um, so anyone that comes to this page can actually see this price, you know, it's right there in your face. I think that's great. 
Now uh, we just need to uh, fix this uh, visit website. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save this one here. And then I'm going to come over here to my module settings. Click on design, text. Uh, we're just going to make this bold. In fact, we're going to underline that. And we're going to make this bold or semi-bold. We don't want everything bold, bold, bold. Okay, so here on the font, we're again going to go to Poppins. And we're going to make it slightly bigger. Okay, that's looking great. So now we have all the elements that we need. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So this is the stage where now, uh, if you wanted, of course, I'm trying to keep this tutorial very, very basic to show you uh, how you can apply this dynamic content onto your designs, but you can go in and add even more items. So you can even have a space here for the video. So you can have a video here, which is added as a custom field. And you can also have pricing tables. You can have all sorts of things in here because all these modules that we have in Divi also support these custom fields. Okay, so feel free to go in and uh, experiment and add more dynamic content. But as I said, you know, for this uh, tutorial here, I'm just trying to keep everything very, very basic. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is to just add some margins onto this row. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings. Uh, click on design spacing, and then I'm just going to add margin bottom. So I'm going to add this as 5%. Okay, so that we have enough space over here. Okay, that's looking great. I'm going to save. And well, one thing you could also do is um, maybe you can increase the size of this row, but I'm just going to keep everything as it is. Right, let's try something a bit different here. Let's see if we can add a section divider. So I'm going to come over here to section settings, design, and I'm just going to come over here to dividers. So the divider we're going to add is for the divider bottom. Then I'm going to choose my style. So I'm just going to go with something basic here. Okay, let's try that one. I'm going to save. And then what we're going to do here is we are going to come back and increase our margins. So I'm going to come over here to design, spacing. Right, so for the bottom, I'm going to add, let's say, 7%. Okay, so now we see more of that image. In fact, let's try 9%. Okay, so I think that looks much better. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. I think I've done enough here on this page. Over here on this title, again, we may want to make this slightly bigger. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm just going to come over here to design, text, make this bigger. So 40, I think. And then over here for the different um, pages, I mean, different uh, screen sizes, we're just going to customize this. Okay, reduce that a little bit. Okay, so I think our template is done. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Right, so the next stage now is to save this page as a template because we want to be using this over and over again. Right, so to do that, I'm going to come over here to the bottom, expand settings, and then I'm going to click this button here like that. So we're going to give this layout a name. So we're going to call this new car template. Okay, so um, I'm going to save this into the templates category, but of course you don't need to, you don't need to have this in the category. In fact, you know what? I'll leave this as it is because I don't want you to get confused. So now I'm just going to save this as my new card template. Okay, so then I'm going to save this to the library. Okay, so now this page has been saved to my library. So we can go ahead and delete this if we wanted to because now we have it in our library. And then next, I'm just going to save. Okay, so the next stage now is to show you how dynamic content is really, really powerful. Okay, so I'm going to go back now to my dashboard. And this time, we're going to create a new uh, page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. Right, so this car here is going to be Mercedes C-Class. We're not going to go to the, uh, to the Diffy Builder here. So what we're just going to do is... I'm just going to come over here and add our descriptions. So I'm going to start over here with the uh, website. So I'm going to add the uh, the website here, the price, let's say 120,000, the engine size. Okay, let this be a V12. The car model, Mercedes C-Class. Okay, manufacturer, it's Mercedes. And then we also need the car description here. So I'm just going to come over here to our lorem text, copy that, paste it over here. Okay, we also need a featured image. So I'm going to come over here to set featured image. And this is our Mercedes. I'm going to go ahead and set up my featured image. Great. So now that we have all this information, this is looking great. I'm going to go ahead now and publish. 
Okay, so now that we've published this, all we need to do is to add our template onto this page. So I'm going to come over here. In fact, before I do that, let me just show you what this looks like without the template. Okay, so you can see there's no content here. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here, click on use Divi Builder. So you can add the template either from this backend builder or you can go to the visual builder as well. It's all up to you. So I'm just going to do it using the visual builder. So I'm going to go here to use visual builder, choose from pre-made layout, your saved layouts. And then this is my card template. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. In fact, it's this one here, new card template. So notice what happens. Uh, this content uh, that I added it has now pulled all my data. So look, we have Mercedes C-Class there. We also have uh, this uh, background image of the car as our featured image. And then over here, we have our beautiful car. All our content is added. Look, the engine size is there. And also the price of the car is added. So all this has now been pulled dynamically. Now, if you notice, I haven't even touched anything on this template in terms of customizing this page. So now you can add more and more and more cars without actually going in and making any changes to your, to your design. So all you have to do now is to save because we've applied our template. So if you're working in say, let's say a, a design agency or you've designed this website for a client, all they need to do is to just come over here to the pages, click on add new and all the content they need to add is the type of car and also the description, the manufacturer, the car model, engine size, and this information here. Okay. So once they've added that, all they need to do is to apply a template and then this is the result. So whatever is added here, okay, is what is updated automatically over here. And this is what we mean by dynamic content in Divi. So I hope this explains very well how dynamic content is used. And of course, I hope that you'll be using these, uh, this method in your designs. It saves you a lot of time and it is also a great way of designing your websites. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. Okay, so we've come to the end of our video. If you have any questions regarding uh, dynamic content in Divi, please do leave a, your uh, question in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to it. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I, I suggest that you do because this is a channel where I teach you how to design professional looking websites and also make money with your websites. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.